Joining me is an emergency room physician who analyzes prophetic patterns he finds all throughout the scripture and relates that to the scientific fields of discovery, including what he calls the body codes. Let's find out more right now on Wonders Without Number. So, the life of the flesh is in the blood, it says in Leviticus. That's right. 1711. And I have given it to you upon the altar as an atonement for your souls. The altar of your, in, your, in, in the thorax, the altar in the, in, in, the, in the throne room of the throne is the heart. Okay. And the heart itself is served by coronary arteries. Yeah. Now they're called coronary arteries because they look like a crown. And this array of arteries that serve the heart, whenever the aortic valve closes, there's back pressure that comes out these little smaller arteries that go in and serve just the muscle of the heart off the aorta. And it's like a crown that surrounds the And they look the like heart. a crown of thorns. They're very sharp and, and oh. jagged and they look like briars. And that makes your heart a throne with a king on it. Okay. And the crown is on, is, 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 you make Jesus the king of your life. You make him the boss, not you the boss. And you surrender your crown on this blood stained ground, as Bob Dylan said. Mm -hmm. you surrender yourself to his rule. Okay. A lot of people have Jesus as their Savior, but not their Lord. Yes. If He's your Lord and Savior, things go better than if He's just your Savior. 